Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Jake here. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the Monmouth County Parks golf course system. As you may know, I'm a huge fan of golf and love to play. I'm from Monmouth County and I've played many courses in my time as a golfer. <clears throat> and I'd like to talk about the best courses that are included in the Monmouth County Golf Membership. I've played at all these courses and I'd like to talk about the pros and cons of each course as well as how to become a member. Before we jump into the specifics of each course, I'm going to start out with a little bit of an overview. The Monmouth County facilities can accommodate golfers of all skill levels. They offer five championship 18-hole courses, two 18-hole executive courses, a nine-hole course, a par three course, and three warm-up ranges. Now let's hop on the train and make our way to the tee box. First, I'm going to start out with the Bel Air Golf Course in Wall Township, New Jersey. Bel Air features a 27-hole golf facility featuring an 18-hole executive par 60 course that has six par fours and 12 par threes, as well as a nine-hole par three course. Although this course is small, it's a great way to learn how to play or just get out for a nice, quick, relaxing round. This course tends to be a hotspot for novice golfers due to its easy playability and its cheap rates. Another cool thing this course offers is a nine-hole foot golf course. Foot golf is basically a crossover of soccer and golf following golf's rules but using your legs in a soccer ball instead of clubs. Next I'm going to talk about one of my favorites, Charleston Springs Golf Course in Millstone, New Jersey. I play this course the most out of all courses offered. This course has two 18-hole championship golf courses. There are many water hazards and bunkers throughout the course to offer somewhat of a challenge to even the most experienced golfers. There's a lot more at this course to offer other than the north and south courses features a half-acre putting green, a five-acre short game area to simulate a course with two tee boxes, maintain greens, and bunkers. If you just want to warm up all around before you make your way to the tee box, this course offers a complete warm-up driving range so you can cycle through all your clubs and make sure you're prepared for the round. For one of the most beautiful golf courses I've ever played, Hominy Hill Golf Course in Colts Neck, New Jersey. This course has been rated as New Jersey's number one public golf course and one of NJ.com's 10 best golf courses for the money, as well as best golf course by New Jersey Monthly Magazine. This course measures 7,049 yards from the blue tees and contains 138 bunkers throughout the course, as well as various water hazards. This course also offers warm-up putting green, a warm-up driving range to allow golfers to get a feel for their game that day. Hominy Hill has also hosted two USGA National Amateur Public Links Championships and numerous regional championship tournaments. This is one of the best golf courses in my book as well. You really do need experience to play this course if you want to get a good round in. Make sure your drivers are dialed in because you will definitely feel the length of this course once you start playing. Another very popular course is Howell Park Golf Course in Farmingdale, New Jersey. This course is like no other public course. It offers private golf club feel with fast greens, bent grass fairways, and a rustic setting. This course has ranked among the top 50 public golf courses in America, multiple times by national golf publications. This par 72 championship course measures 6,964 yards from the blue tees and has USGA course and slope ratings of 73 and 126. There's also a warm-up range and a large, immaculately maintained practice green to get those practice reps in before teeing off. And back to another executive course again, Pinebrook Golf Course in Manalpa, New Jersey. This is an 18-hole par 61 executive length golf course. This measures 4,168 yards from the white tee boxes. It has 1 par 5, 5 par 4s, and 12 par 3 holes. Pinebrook has a USGA course rating of a 59.8 and a slope rating of a 93 from the white tees. This course is now considered a junior friendly course because of its easy playability and shorter tee boxes to help youth players. This course now offers something pretty neat called the Guardian Pass. It allows parents to watch their kids play a round of golf but not have to pay to be on the course. This is great to mentor their kids while also letting them play to become more experienced golfers. Pinebrook also offers foot golf, like Bel Air Golf Course does. Now on to the last course in the Monmouth County Park System, Shark River Golf Course in Neptune, New Jersey. Shark River Golf Course has tight, narrow fairways, deep face bunkers, and a challenge of small, well-protected greens. The holes vary from a short, drivable par 4 to a risky par 5, with some strong three, par 3 holes mixed in. Even in its modest length of 6,457 yards, this course offers a stern but fair to test to all golfers.
Shark River is a par 71 that has a USGA course rating of 70.3 and a USGA slope rating of 130 from the Blue Tees. This course is going to be very hard for novice golfers, but a good challenge for intermediate to better golfers. The narrow fairways will be a great challenge as you will have to make sure that you hit the ball straight. Otherwise, you'll either get lost in the next hole over or in the trees. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I hope that you make your way to one of these courses. Be sure to check out my website at jakemitgolf.wordpress.com. The link will be in the description box. There you can find a form to contact me with any questions or if you'd like to meet me to play around. If you thought this video was helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys at the tee box. Peace.